over the last few months, I've been chasing various trains. Here are some of the best ones. Since there are so many amazing catches to watch, you can skip around to the ones you find interesting using the chapters below. Our first catch is Dobo, an aggregate train run by the New Hampshire North Coast Railroad. This train runs from Ossipee Aggregates in New Hampshire late at night and provides an efficient way to transport raw material from the quarry to the refinery in Boston. After branching off the Portland subdivision at Dover, it makes its way down south, passing through Haverhill Station. Next we see the Consus fly by us, laying on the horn through Horn Station. Branching off the Haverhill line, we see it roll over the switch at Wilmington Station, where the Wildcat meets the Lowell. One final station before Boston, heading past West Medford. It'll be arriving at its final destination, Boston Sand and Gravel Company, shortly. But first, a few night owl commuter rail trains roll by. Once those commuter rail trains roll by, Dobo pulls off the lower line into the maze of interlockings. stopped, the pair of GP38-2s will run around their train and shove into the sand and gravel company. Next, we take a look at the STM, Montreal's metro system, comprising of some equipment that looks like it's from the future to relics that are still chugging along.
While walking along the old port of Montreal, a CN switching maneuver caught me off guard. Next, we are back in Massachusetts with a few clips of a ballast extra in Wellesley Square. The cars were picked up earlier in the morning by this pair of GP40 MCs. Bringing these cars to Wellesley Square and providing the materials necessary for maintenance for such a heavily used going back to the Haverhill line to see some rare train action. Due to a signaling and train control issue in the Lawrence area, all trains must be flagged across the railroad crossings by the conductor, making an easy chase for one particular train, CSX Local L080, a local freight ending in Lawrence, which normally doesn't run in the daylight, usually runs in the dark at night. over to the affected crossings, we get a good horn show and a conductor who seems slightly concerned for my hearing. Next is LO80, which is a very cool train to see in daylight hours. Next we see an inbound train whizzing by us over the interlocking right next to LO80. at Haverhill Station, waiting for an Amtrak while an outbound pulls in. The Amtrak train arrives shortly thereafter. This down easter is unique in multiple ways tonight, among them being 9406 and P42100, taking the rear, but th the most unique is the two horizon cars at the tail end of the train. In anticipation of large crowds on Celtics Parade Day, this down easter set was equipped with an extra passenger car to supplement the large crowds.
Here is Amtrak down Easter, number 688, flying over Crossroad. Now we come to the faulty section again. 688 approaches the crossing, gives a crossing sequence, and rolls over. Unbeknownst to us, sitting on the other side of the crossing was the northbound L080. As 688 crossed, LO80 rolls over the crossing. Behind me, I noticed headlights shining off the nose of 100. Just to see a commuter rail inbound, trailing about 300 feet behind the down easter on the same track. What a meet, very unlikely to happen again. After clearing the slow zones, 688 speeds along the Lowell Line, heading for North Station. We now move to air as some light power rolls by. 
We are looking for a particular train today, B101, an intermodal train bound for Chicago. At its head end is an unusual locomotive, a C40-8 locomotive from former Pan Am Railways, now owned by the Berkshire and Eastern Railroad. We chase this out west, listening to that horn blare on the Shirley S curve. Next, we watch it pull into a siding and gardener to make way for an eastbound train. After almost an hour and a half of waiting, B100, the eastbound intermodal, arrives at Parker's, clearing the single track for B101. We arrive at the end of our chase in Miller's Falls, watching it go right beneath our feet. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video as content will start being uploaded more frequently, so stay tuned.